Hey everyone, MRAD for 5 here, and it's Matlock, and I just want to talk to you a little bit about expectations and your standards. So, again, your standards, we all are affected by it. Think about it as who you surround yourself with. If you surround yourself with a bunch of negative people, people that don't believe they can get ahead in life, people that think that this is all there is to it, that maybe don't dream big, you'll be more negative on yourself. Again, this can come in many forms as just straight up neglect or criticism or even just sarcasm. Sarcasm, which I love to do, can be a very intrinsic thing that you use to kind of tell the other person that, no, I don't think what you're doing is correct. I don't think you can reach for your dreams. On the other hand, if you take positive people and you surround yourself with them, being positive every day, having that open outlook and just that charismatic, enthusiastic energy... You won't be afraid to admit your vulnerability. You'll be afraid to admit your dreams, things that you really want to do, your standards. You always want to have high standards for yourself. This can be in work, athletics, money, success, or happiness. People that want to be with others that have that high standards, you push yourself, and they push themselves. However, People may not share this sense of high standards. And when I mean high standards, meaning getting up every single day, maybe having a workout, doing something that you love, going to work, coming back, having time for your family. That's five huge things to do. And I know that for a lot of people, there's a ton of other things. And again, there's only 24 hours in a day. But making that time, having that high standards up here when everyone else is still just waiting down at the bottom. People won't always share this enthusiasm to have this high standards people will maybe mock you maybe criticize you say wow that's crazy or i can't believe you're doing that you're putting all of this work in for what you're going to hear a lot of that and that's people that have those negative standards they're still down here when you're trying to rise above here and the sad thing is that if you surround yourself with those people you might believe that you don't have those high standards that you can't perform to what you want to reach your dreams. Now, it's hard because you might have to let some friends, family members go. If you're trying to reach for a certain dream and someone kind of just keeps shutting you down, not believing in you, or really just giving you that negative energy, you've got to maybe disengage. Maybe find other people that really fit the desire that you want. But again, Finding those people that are like you, that are positive, and have those high standards. Another thing that gets in the way of people and getting and doing what they want are their expectations. It's people's best weapon they can have, but for most of us, it's the crutch that holds us back. People go into all sorts of situations with expectations. Whether it's maybe like a family event, dating, or just a job interview. There are tons of different examples, but let's go with you're going on a date because how stressful is that, right? Let's not even go into blind dates or anything like that, but it's a date. You can go in with the expectation that I'm not going to like this guy. He's too short. I saw his Facebook. He doesn't have interests that are like mine. And you know what? I don't think I'm going to have a good time. Well, guess what? Your expectations really dictate the outcome of your time. You're already going in there with that bad attitude, so guess what's going to happen? You're going to have a bad time in any situation that you put your mind to. People that expect that negative outcome will get that negative outcome. They'll go to a family event and have a bad time. They won't engage in conversation. They won't try and have a better attitude about it, and it shows in their body language. They might be slumped over. They might be on their phone. They might not be engaged in conversation. Instead of having that eye contact, smiling, being very important, and just being in the moment, change your expectation. Make this your greatest weapon. Whenever you have any situation, athletics, a new job, even talking to your significant other, say that when they come in the room, this is going to be a great experience. And tell yourself that over and over and over again. I'm going to go to dinner with my family. This is going to be a great experience. I'm going to go see my niece's basketball or maybe my nephew's piano recital. 
This is going to be great. I'm going to go mow the lawn, and then after that, man, I get to watch sports. This is going to be great. I can't wait to go out and get some fresh air to say hi to my neighbor. Changing your expectations will give you that positive attitude to enjoy life more and be in the moment instead of just dwelling. So again, every situation you go into, you can tell yourself this. It's a really positive affirmation, and it helps, again, get rid of those doubts, get rid of the fear that you have, saying, you know what, I don't want to talk to people, I don't want to do this. If you surround yourself with positive people, raise your standards for what you're doing, whatever that is, and also change your expectation and every day say, you know what, this situation it's either going to be great or it's not. I'm sick of thinking like this. Say it's going to be great, and maybe sometimes it won't be. But I guarantee if you say that every situation, your expectations up here, your standards are up here, everyone else is still down here, you're going to be landing up here most of the time or maybe in the middle. But I guarantee what you won't do, you won't be down here with those negative expectations, creating those negative outcomes. It's amazing how before anything happens, we dictate how much of a positive, negative, or any emotion is going to come into any situation. So with those three things in mind, try and go into your next activity, social event, maybe family event, and have that positive expectation. Say, this is going to be a good outcome. I'm going to enjoy this. And you know what? I bet you just might have a little bit more fun than you're used to. So again, this is Matthew Locke. Just wanted to give you a little inspiration and have a good day. Try those three things. I guarantee you won't regret it.